Ain't no gunshots, but they gettin' Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are on my uh, work in progress map here. Just finished putting in the power lines here along the highway. Uh, I need to go back and do some field adjustments here on it yet, but um, yeah, so now I'm working on houses. Um, my end power line here is really long because I just didn't want to add all the extra bits along here and all the turning didn't feel like doing all that I know it's probably lazy of me but um, just didn't feel like it uh, started adding some houses now uh, so we got one here and then I'm just working on this one uh, this house <clears throat> as you can see here they have three tree rows all uh, they have four all right, I got to do one more row. But uh, they have four tree rows around their house. And so I'm sitting here adding that in. Right now I'm going through and adjusting all of these uh, so that they sit correctly. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just kind of working on all the details now. Um, I need to go in and do the power lines going from... Uh, these large power lines, two houses and stuff, uh, I still need to do those. Those are going to be next, uh, after I finish the farms. Um, so yeah, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more video on this, of me working on this now, because, uh, I want to try and get a lot of this done. Uh, because I want to try and get to playing on this as soon as I possibly can. So you'll be seeing a lot of videos on the map, a lot of videos in Blender, working on models and uh, stuff like that. So... So yeah, in yesterday's video, we got the harvest all finished up on Dad's farm, and I tried to start hauling grain, but every time I load a trailer, I almost instantly get lag. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure what I should do with it. Gonna figure something out, though. Um, probably just take out all the mods that I'm not using and that I'm not planning on using. And just you just have the mods that I'm using in my mods folder, and um, I'll make like folders for each um, save game uh, or for each map. You know, like I'll have a folder for the Dad's Farm mods, a folder for the um, Big Bear Ranch single player mods, all that kind of stuff. So. Just maybe that'll uh, just help out a little bit with that. Then I won't be running as many mods. I don't know. Not sure what the heck the deal is. Uh, I might take my computer in and see if there's not something on it. Um, you know, whether it's a virus or if it just needs to be taken apart by a professional and cleaned. Um, you know, I not even going to attempt to take this apart uh, because it would uh, I don't want to risk breaking something screwing something up anything like that so yeah I uh, scaled the fir trees here down quite a ways uh, because the farm here or this house here uh, the house is pretty new it's only been there for a couple of years now and their trees are still fairly small uh, they might be a little bit smaller than these are but uh, it's pretty close I think uh, they're not de definitely not full-grown trees yet that's for sure uh, they still got a long ways to go before that all right let's work on this now
But uh, yeah, so once uh, once I get uh, these farms and trees finished up, I'll be going in game and doing a bunch of testing and stuff like that. And um, also found a map that was released, or I guess leaked, I should say, uh, Midwest Grain and Livestock version two. Uh, that map has a working grain probe on it, so I'm going to go into its uh, files and get all of the uh, stuff needed to make the grain probe work and put it on this map so that way I can get that probe working. Um, I think that's it. Uh, once the farms and trees and power lines are done, uh, it'll be time to work on rock piles and uh, fences, which is not going to be fun. That one I'm not looking forward to at all. Uh, most of the fields have fences around them. Or, well, not most, but some of the fields have fences around them. There's pasture areas, so... It's going to be a lot of work, that's for sure. But, um, I don't know, I guess uh, it'll be worth it in the end. Just got to sit and work at it. So, yeah, um, overall there's going to be a lot more modding videos because I want to try and get a bunch of projects done. Um, stuff like that, so... That's what I'm going to be focusing on, so that's what I'll be having video on uh, for the most part. You know, I will try and get some in-game footage. Uh, I want to figure out this whole leg issue first, but uh, I will get it figured out, and uh, we'll be doing video again in Farm Sim, but uh, just not quite yet. See, I've added in a lot more new buildings as well, and they're all sitting up here. Uh, here's a log house uh, from Midwest Grain and Livestock with this garage. Not sure if I'm going to actually keep the garage or not. Now I'm kind of having second thoughts on it. But then we got all these sheds here. There's a couple of houses inside of here. Uh, we got a nice large shop here. I am going to be taking this door off because I want to... Um, add a different door in I think I don't know maybe I'm gonna keep that one haven't decided yet uh, we got another house floating up here as well so see and I have changed the uh, field ground textures uh, I am going to change the cultivated texture I think though to one from FS 13 um, I've seen it on a couple of 15 maps, but it originated in 13, I'm pretty sure. Uh, really nice texture. You can see, like, some, you know, remnants of crop and stuff in it. So I definitely want to check that one out, see what it's like on here. Still have to add the crops and stuff on here yet, um, but that's going to be like one of the very last things I add because I'm not worried about them until the map's done and playable, so uh, really not worried about it.
So yeah, I'm just starting with um, some of the area farms, and then I'll move to like Temvik area and add in uh, the trailer houses and houses and that kind of stuff. See, so yeah, I have to make uh, just a couple of small adjustments on the 82 Chevy C30 truck. And then I'm going to work on getting it uh, in-gamed. Might do that here later today. I'm not sure. Um, I want to get a lot of work done on the map. Uh, just have to add my model watermark uh, to the truck. And I think I'm going to actually add it under the chrome pieces. But it'll be like somewhere on the truck I don't know where yet but uh, it'll be somewhere on the truck and then just as a chrome piece and then um, it'll go with the rest of the chrome pieces and get dirty and all of that stuff so So we'll get this last tree row added in and um, move on to another farm. Alright, good, I'm not uh, just talking for no reason. I wonder, does this house have an actual land? It does. Has an actual inside, that's kind of cool. I can tell it's a SketchUp house, just by the way it is, but uh, doesn't look too bad, so I'll leave it, I guess. Last one on that row, and I will start going across. And one more, and then we can go this way now. Couple more, two more to be exact. There we go. Now we can uh, go in and adjust these ones, and then we'll be done with this house. See, so yeah, this house had a pool on it, and um, it's right here in this higher part. But uh, the real place didn't have a pool, and so I can't just take it off of the house because it's one joined model. So 
kind of can't delete it unless I were to put it into Blender and delete it. And I'm not that worried about it. Just covered it up with some dirt or some grass, I guess. Dirt and grass. And uh, just like that. I mean, I could have left it, but... You know, even though some stuff isn't that close on these houses and stuff, I still want to try and keep it as close as I possibly can. So, I know it won't be completely perfect, but uh, it's going to be close as I can get. And lately, for whatever reason, I've had a lot of people asking me what the song is in my intro. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, the intro was a template that I downloaded from YouTube that came with music, and all I did was go and open the Blender file of it, change the wording, change the color of the words, and edit it back together. That was it. So I have no idea what the song is. Uh, I, I don't remember it saying a title. It probably did, could have, but uh, that was a long time ago, and I had a I don't remember what it is. Don't even remember remember what intro template I used either. So I just don't have any idea. <clears throat> and then worked a little more on the uh, Ram 3500 last night as well. Uh, got a little more done on the interior. It's very annoying long process, that's for sure. I uh, really wish I didn't have to be stuck doing it, but I'd rather be doing that than trying to manually unwrap everything, every little piece of the existing interior, and try to um, get everything adjusted, <clears throat> excuse me, adjusted to fit the existing texture. So I'll sit and remove piece by piece rather than try and adjust piece by piece on an existing texture so interiors all I got left I gotta add the water model watermark to that as well jeez I totally screwing up I uh, gotta add the model watermark to that as well uh, that'll also go on the chrome for that so I'll have to rebake the chrome uh, on that truck as well as the uh, C30 Alright, there we go. We have another farm done. Okay, what's the next one? Um, that would be this guy here. Okay. So, all I'm going to do is add this row of bins... Um, we have a row of trees here I might add and then the two buildings and the shop um, that building random sparks is building will work perfectly for that and both random sparks is buildings will work perfectly here and then I'll get a house all right let's get to work um, misc farms Bump our speed back up. Uh, I want this building. Well, I guess that is one that I want as well. It's not the one that I thought I was grabbing, but uh, oh well. So then we need to spin that around to right like that. And there we go. Now let's get a corner of this thing above ground to where it should be and then actually back that up just a little bit and smooth replace and then we'll get this nice and small to right there And we'll 
bump all this up a little bit around this shed here. We'll go ahead and smooth it out so that way it's nice smooth uh, incline here and not some huge massive bump although you know not like uh, we'll be using it because it's just a area farm not our farm but uh, still is fairly nice alright so we got Shed 2, now we need Shed 1. We're going to spin that around as well. And we'll slide it over a little ways so that it, uh, so that this guy can get out when he needs to get out on that side. Alright, so now we'll do the uh, same little thing here. Alright, so now we'll put down some gravel here. I want to make this brush a lot smaller. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. I was hitting the wrong mouse button. I'm going to have to go back and adjust this stuff, but oh well. And then this is just going to kind of run over to this shed. And then this whole area will be graveled up. Back to gravel and get rid of this little knob. Got rid of a little more than I wanted to. There we go. Now we'll go back to gravel here and go just like this. Oops. A little farther. Alright, so now we need to select our grass and I need to get the visibility off of these two buildings and we'll fill in the gravel on them. Anywhere that there's not gravel, we'll add it. Just like that. Okay, and now we will go in and remove all this grass.
All right, there's that. So now we'll get the uh, visibility back on these things. There we go. Missed a little splotch of grass there. Looks good. All right, so now we need some bins. And I know just what the bins we need. We need these ones. So they have quite the array of bins here. At this farm. Um, looks like they got a small one, two mediums. Those are... Uh, those, are those are hopper bins, but... Uh, I'm not going to add hopper bins, I guess. I'm just going to do these. Actually, he only has one of these and two of these. We're going to make that invisible on this one. So then we had two of those here, and one in the back, about about there, except turned. Okay. Now we just need a house for this place, and I think we'll go with um, house 11. Which one's that? No. House, that's that one. House 9 is over here. No, I don't think that one. That one. Maybe. This one's a possibility. Not that one, not that. And that's that. Alright, well, this one it is. Alright, so now we'll get the uh, ground adjusted on this thing here. Okay, and now we'll get it all uh, smoothed out here. I'll try not to take away from the house too much. It doesn't help that this house is right on the side of a hill. That's what kind of screws with the whole thing. Alright, so now we'll uh, add a little bit of gravel around this guy here.
Okay, so now we'll get rid of this uh, grass here. There goes the timer. So yeah, what grass isn't... Well, there it all goes now. I was going to say, whatever grass isn't here now will be in there later. Uh, the grass is just kind of funny, you know, when you make a hill over top of it and stuff, it just kind of disappears a little. But, uh, yeah. Okay, um, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'm going to finish up this farm, and then I think I'm going to work on the Chevy C30 and try and get that in-game today uh, and get that thing done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. My video schedule is down below in the description. As well as my PC specs, links to my social medias, link to my mod site, account needed. Make sure that you keep that in mind. As well as links to other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.